Evening everyone, it's uh, Chris here, 2E0UKH, just uh, messing about with this I Blue Stack Hotspot, and um, it's going pretty good actually, quite impressed with it. So this is it here, blinking away, the blue box. I've bought a little battery, it's just sitting on a battery, one of these mobile phone charger types, and it's powered on. And the blue lights flashing, that just means it's on. It's not connected to anything. So, this is the blue stack that connects to an iPhone it's called an iBlue stack. So, to get it set up, this is what you do um, go on the iPhone on the Apple App Store and get this app, Blue DV. Now this will only work with the Apple hotspot, the iBlueStack, the one with the Apple uh, Bluetooth chipset in it. Anyway, so that's the app. You've got to run the app and, and go into settings. So it's upside down. So all I filled in was my call sign at the top left. You put your DMR ID in there, below it, and the frequency your radio's on at the bottom. 434200 is the one I use, and I've set the QRG error correction to zero, and on the right hand side I've got the Netherlands server selected. 2042 and the DMR password is password with a zero in so that's all the settings there is really you've just got to put your DMR ID in there so uh, I'm just going to put my DMR ID in and uh, and save it copied and pasted it in, paste it in, save down the bottom left, so it's now in and I'm going to make sure your Bluetooth's on, Bluetooth just enabled Bluetooth on the iPhone. There we are, Bluetooth's on. Run the app. Switch DMR on. And that's now connected. The blue light is, is now on. And it says uh, DMR is logged in at the bottom. Now... There's no other equipment needed, just the Bluestack hotspot, the iBlueStack, a phone, an iPhone or an Android, uh, sorry, an iPhone or an iPad, and your DMR radio. So we don't need this hotspot now in view, so I'm just going to move that out of view, and it's just sitting up there, powered up. So that's it, and I'm connected. Not too long ago, I picked up some good tech stuff. One is uh, about the DM Ubuntu uh, interface and graphical interface and all that. The other one was more of a source book for command line um, uh, uh, programming, but, you know, command line interface uh, commands. And, just doing and the best bit is anyway. so, the advantage of using the iBlue stack is. It will run in the background on the iPhone. So in a minute, I'm going to press the home button, and you'll still hear people talking. Yeah, and as far as uh, usability, I mean, I'm just using this computer for uh, my. It's in my ham radio case. And 
just going to be using it for whatever, ham radio and uh, television. And, I mean, just, you know, that the hobby, uh, on the hobby side. So it's not like for work or anything where i got to be compatible with anybody else. But uh, I also want to get up to speed on this Linux stuff because uh, there's a lot of, uh, like... Uh, so I can now forget about the hotspot. There's nothing to press on there. Forget about the phone, unless I want to read um, read what what's going on. I can quickly go, switch the phone back on, go back into the app. But that phone could be in my pocket, forgot all about it, and just concentrate on the radio. And it's exactly the same as normal, changing talk groups as you do normally. So that's how you set it up. And there's no password for Bluetooth. It's all, you know, it's all automatic. Someone else put them together and you basically stick it in some pie and, you know, ADSB tracks and stuff like that. But I want to you know, be able to uh, get in there and actually... So that's the quick setup of the iBlue Stack hotspot. Nice and easy. Working with DMR and uh, C4FM. Doesn't work with D-Star yet. 7-3. Cheers.